I'm up at about 4.30, quarter to five. Um, for me, ideally, you need to eat two and a half hours before the start of the stage. Um, so wake up, first thing we do is go and eat. And it uh, usually consists of a big, big bowl of rice with honey and fructose and a whole lot of other things. And then um, you kind of, I normally take a shower, it's just routine. Get ready, we'll do a warm up, maybe 30 minutes or so before the start. Uh, load into the batch, off we go, hard day on the bike. As soon as we come off the bike, it's recovery. Um, so whether you're using a shake, um, some gums, a cold drink, you know, you need to just replenish. And then we just go from meal to meal and we just snack all day. Um, broken up into small little meals and it's all about just really getting the legs up doing a session on the recovery boots and maybe having a nap I don't really nap too much um, and then it all depends like tonight we'll go back for prize giving and come home maybe have another snack and go to sleep um, I aim for about 100 grams of carbohydrates an hour um, and I can't stipulate how important it is to just stay on carbohydrates. Obviously you're going to have um, a few elements of maybe a little bit of fat and protein in a bar, but um, try and look for um, supplements that have minimal amounts of these because they're really not going to do much for you on the bike. Um, your main source of fuel is, is our carbohydrates. And um, to give you an idea, I did um, four bottles today, which each have sort of 40 grams of carbohydrates in seven gels and three bars and a banana. Um, I'm on the new Orbea Oys, which is amazing because it's 120 mil travel front and rear. And I think that really suits our terrain in South Africa. You know, um, everything's gotten lighter. So why not have that extra bit of um, travel in your, in your suspension um, for a very, very small cost, um, if anything, on weight. Um, so your performance goes up, your um, reliability goes up and your comfort goes up on the bike.